Hey everyone, it's been a while and I'm excited to discuss with you some major changes in the housing market and why we're seeing those changes for the September 2022 housing update. Let's get at it. Well, thank you for tuning in. It's been a while and I must confess over the summer, I tried to prioritize family over extra work type stuff like this, but it was a great summer for us. I hope it was for you and your family as well. And now it's time to get back in the saddle, send the kids to school and get back to real life. If you're new here, I'm Tim Hyam, a local realtor in Prince George, BC, and I make these videos about local real estate. If that interests you, please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any upcoming content. And before I jump into the report, if you're wanting to chat about your own real estate needs in the Prince George area, please connect with me at the number below by a call or even just a text. I would love to hear from you. So without further ado, I will be looking at statistics from the BC Northern Real Estate Board for detached homes within the city limits of Prince George. Let's go. We had 75 sales in August compared to 101 last year. That's a decline of 25.7%. Active listings were at 214 compared to 230 last year. That's a decline of 7%. New listings, we had 93 compared to 110 last year. Those were down 15.5%. Average days on market was sitting at 40 compared to 37 last year, that's down 8.1%. Let's stop here for a moment. So sales are down significantly, and that's the largest change really. Now, why are we seeing this? Many of you already know if you've been following the news that we've seen multiple large interest rate hikes by the Bank of Canada this year, and we're expecting another on September 7th. That is the main factor driving these changes in the market both nationally and locally. Okay, let's continue and look at what else is happening. Average percent of original price was at 95.9 compared to 97.1 last year. That's down 1.2%, but that is still the lowest we've seen in quite a while. Average price per square foot was at $230 compared to 205. That's up 12.2% year over year. Supply was at 2.7 months compared to 2.6 months, an increase of 3.8%, but very similar. See, even though we have similar inventory to last year, which is still relatively low, it feels more like a balanced market with the reduced sales activity and less pressure on the market overall. Okay, now finally, average sales price was at 539K compared to 458 last year. That is up 17.9%, but again, we should compare that to the peak earlier this year. That was 561K in April. So we are certainly down from that peak. Now, let's talk about this a bit more. First up, buyers. If you've been waiting a while, being frustrated with the market, with never being able to secure a good home in a ridiculously hot market, this should come as a welcome reprieve. Of course, the flip side to that coin is you'll be qualifying at a much higher rate and the cost of your mortgage is now much higher, even though purchase price is lower. But selection is coming back, more wiggle room on price also. And now sellers. If you've been paying attention, it's time to get serious and shift gears while the last of the good selling season is still among us before the snow flies. Gone are the days of listing far too high and having a hope of selling. Now you need to be pricing more aggressively to stand out amongst the growing inventory and competition. You may need to go through extra steps to prepare your home for the market and have a more realistic approach to the sale of your home. All right, that's it for me for now, but thank you so much for watching. I hope it helped. And until next time, take care.